to The Great Switcheroo, part three. I am kicking things off with this switcheroo and we are gonna be having some fun. So stay tuned for the next hour and a bit. You're gonna to get to see five artists, including myself, have a great time doing a premiere, talking with you guys, and it is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get to it. All right, so today I am doing a piece um, from Jilly Cube and you can check her out. She will be the last to go um, in this uh, switcheroo. Tammy is next. Um, so I have been watching her videos and she does a lot of things with balloons. So she does these awesome balloon kisses and I, that is what I'm going to be doing today. And I hope I can make her proud and do something that resembles a, something as pretty as what she does because she really does some awesome things. So I have here a 16 by 16 inch canvas. Now I am using my Dutch pour paints for this. I don't know if that is, um, you know, the right thing. Um, I'm just going to give it a whirl and we shall see what happens. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flood the top part of my canvas with my white Dutch pour paint and then the bottom half with colored paints. Although now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the white on the bottom just to make it flow better. So I guess putting that line there really didn't make a difference, did it now? <laughs> All right, guys. And now I'm gonna try some fun new tools too. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this works out. And I have to do this quickly because we are on a time crunch. I have to do this video in about 13 minutes. So very different from my regular, um, you know, 30 minute videos that I usually do. All right. I am glad you guys are here. I thank you guys so much for joining us for this Sunday afternoon. And let's have some fun. So the colors I'm going to be using, I'm gonna list in the description below. I'm not gonna go through them all, but if you are a long time watcher, I bet you you know what colors I'm using. So what Jilly does is she basically pours a bunch of paint on her canvas. And I'm gonna run out of paint, I hope not. Guess what color this is? This is the Indanthrene Blue by Holbein. And the first color was um, Pebble Studio Acrylics uh, Iridescent blue green. So I guess I am telling you the colors. This is the Luminous Rose by Holbein. This looks pretty and different from what I'm used to, I'll tell you that. Then we have, of course, some 24 karat gold. All right, then we have Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton. I love these colors. So pretty. Now, I don't know how much paint I'm supposed to be putting down on here. So we are going to uh, learn and learn together. Like I did not practice this on another canvas first before I did this video. I kid you not. This is the first time I'm doing it because you know what? I don't have time to practice this kind of stuff. So I am just going with the flow and we shall see what happens. All right, what I'm gonna do is torch the bubbles all in my paint. All right. And then what I've seen Jilly do, what I'm gonna do is there's a spare bare spot here on the canvas and here. So I want it to make sure it flows properly. So what I've seen Jilly do is she uses the little mini blow dryer, mini dryer or blower I mean or I've also seen her use a straw so I am going to try and use this with the new attachment that I just so happened to get the other day by Tracy Reed so talk about fluke timing on that so I'm going to blow a little of this out here and then we are going to balloon smash or kiss the bottom so if this doesn't work out I got my cordless hair dryer. So let's try this first. And I'm just gonna blow a few wispies out and see what happens. But first I'm gonna pop some more air bubbles because I see some more air bubbles surfacing here. 
actually, I'm gonna swipe the bottom too, actually, because that's what Jilly does too. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's actually moving. Oh, this is really neat. Look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Wow, this, this attachment's really neat. It really works well. What a perfect time to use this. Huh. Look at that. By golly. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like that for now. Now I'm going to take my swiping tools, but first I've seen Jilly add like a bead of white. I don't know if that's a good idea, but if not, I'll just balloon smash it anyway. I don't know if that was enough white. Let's try that again. All right, and let's swipe. Swipe and see what happens. The swiping tool is pretty cool too. I've never used a swiping tool, believe it or not. I have never used a swiping tool. I've used, let's try the bigger swiping tool. See what we get with the bigger swipe. Now, I don't know if any cells are gonna form here. We shall find out, but I don't see any, but that's, oh, yes I do. Yes, I do. Ooh, all right. Yes, that I see the uh, 24 karat gold creating some cells there. Well, that's interesting. This is actually a lot of fun. All right. Oh, well now, look at that. Okay, so now, oh, there are cells coming out. Look at that. I wonder if I should torch it. Should I torch it? not much happening like that this is pretty though and then what else she does is she does like little wispies like this so i'm gonna see if i'm gonna do that last but for now let's wow look at that let's see what happens with uh oh you know what i wonder yeah my canvas is showing here on the edge here we go what about this edge yeah, we can fix that with a balloon. All right, let's go. Woo. See, now I don't know if I have too much paint on here or not. I probably do because it's pooling. I get like a little bump there. Now, you're supposed to wipe your balloon off um, after every... Ooh, okay. I'm gonna keep ballooning and I'm gonna speed you guys up real quick.
wow like wait till you see the close-up this is so pretty and i'm so glad i was able to use these little swiping tools from tracy reed um and do these little wispies because i feel like there was a little too much negative space up here so i am going to put you guys on pause and bring you guys down for a close-up be right back all right everybody here it is so the cells are definitely from the swiping which is super pretty and then you got the little wispies there from the um swiping tools and then the little balloon smash balloon kisses i can't believe that if this is so pretty and you can even see without even having the um flash on you can see the shimmer in there this is going to be pretty when it dries. I actually had a lot of fun doing this and I see myself doing another one of these in the future. Absolutely. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Stay tuned. Tammy Anderson is up next with her video. So head on over to Tammy's channel next. Don't forget to subscribe if you are watching and you have not heard of the other four ladies. Please subscribe to their channels. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the switcheroo part three. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the videos. I'm going to sit back and watch them along with you guys. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.